To all of you joining me for this video, thank you. I'm Mr. Ish and we're looking here at a topic of approximate integration, focusing on the midpoint rule. If you remember the Riemann sum and the Riemann integral videos, the concept with regards to the Riemann sums and how that relates to integration, that topic very well plays right over here. There are instances where doing the traditional techniques of integration, whatever they might be, substitution, trigonometric integration, whatever or however those techniques might be there are integrands out there for which you do not have a means by which you can integrate them so you have to come up with some form of approximate integration there are also instances out there where as a experimental model coming up with real life data and you want to somehow bring some meaningful expression with regards to that data there might be a situation which will arise for which there, there is no formula which exists for the type of data you're dealing with and when you have to integrate that over a limit, lower and upper limit, you don't have a means for doing so, you have to then rely on approximate integration. You're looking here at a function 1 over x from 2 to 1. I wanted to do the hyperbolic function but I didn't want to do from 1 to 0 because as you see you have a discontinuity over here. If here is 0, here is 1, here is 2, the hyperbolic function will exceed without bounds as it approaches 0. So you can't really do from 0 to 1 because of this vertical asymptote x equals 0. It's better just to look at it from 1 to 2. In the end, approximate integration still is focusing on this region below the curve. And there should be a specific means by which you can approximately integrate that area if there were no template for that function that you're looking at or the data that you have there was no means then you have to do approximate integration so let's look at it the best way to handle this is to come up with a means by which you're going to incorporate the riemann sum technique into this let's look at this one or x and we'll look at everything here with regards to an approximation of a graph it doesn't have to be 100 percent accurate but we're looking at it from one to two if I were to use here an n equals 4, that is, I'm going to develop here 4 rectangles. Again, this right here is very much similar to that Riemann integral or the Riemann sum technique because you're using that concept here to help you integrate an integrand for which no template would normally exist. You would have to do this and you have to find the width of each n equals 4 and you have to find the width of each interval using that n equals 4. You would have d minus a over n and here b and a is this 2 minus 1 over 4 would be a 1 over 4. The best way to do this is to bring in a table of values with regards to how you would set this up and you can have an interval over here and that's a good column here. You can also have a certain value here which will feed into your function that you might want to call it and you can have f of xi and you know the f of xi here will really be 1 over x but you have to have an average going there because we're looking here at a midpoint if you're going by quarters from 1 to 2 your intervals are easy they're from 1 to 1.25 and then 1.25 to 1.5 and 1.5 to 1.75 and then of course 1.75 to 2 Remember again, you're looking here at a conventional function for which a very easy antiderivative exists. You know that's going to bring in the natural log x. But if supposedly this specific function did not have an antiderivative template, then you have to use this technique. When you're looking over here, you have to look at the middle value. And the middle value is this plus this and divided by 2. The midpoint of each interval is what you're doing. 1.25 plus 1 divided by 2 you get a certain value and then we can bring this all the way across you have 1.125 and then we can do the same for over here and let's just do it here you'll have 1.375 here you have 1.625 and then here you'll have 1.875 now what you have to do is run this through your function this will be 1 divided by 1.125 this here will be 1 divided by 1.375 here you'll have 1 divided by 1.625 and lastly you have 1 divided by 1.875. Your basic area, this over here, is going to be nothing more than delta x plus the sum of all of those. The sum of all these values you have over here going from your first to your last. That's all what it is and it's not too hard. You can literally do this all on the calculator. At the end, we'll multiply everything by delta x, which is 0.25. Let's run these through. We have 1 divided by 1.125 plus 1 divided by 1.375 plus 1 divided by 1.625 plus 1 divided by 1.875. You have all of this coming out as a sum of those 
values and you multiply this by 0.25, you get a 0.69129 and I'll put that value right over here, 0.691219. Now, however, if you're going to do this using the template, you know you have a natural log x coming out as an antiderivative from two to one. You'll do natural log two minus natural log one. Natural log one is zero. Here you really just have a natural log two will be the area under that curve, natural log two. We can take this value, the value we've obtained from approximate integration and compare it to this true value, the true value representing the area below the curve and see what our margin of error is. We'll take this value right here, I saved it. We'll minus this from natural log two. We'll divide that by natural log two. And of course we can multiply by 100 and hit the absolute value. We have a 0.278 margin of error over here is 0.278%. We're pretty close and this approximate integration is quite accurate. 0.278%. Let's look at one more example. We'll again focus here on midpoint rule. But remember, there are other rules which come into play with approximate integration. There's a trapezoidal rule. There's also the Simpson rule. All of that we can look at, but right now we're focusing on perhaps the more important rule, which is a midpoint rule. Let's look at this one. We have in the square root one plus x cubed. That's our integrand from zero to two. There is basically no elementary antiderivative template or technique which can help you handle this. This is one of those, if you were to run this through one of those online integral calculators, you would get a message saying that there's no way to handle this. But there is a way and you can use approximate integration. And you know that will be a reliable technique, especially when your traditional techniques are not available. When you're looking here, you have to find a delta x, your interval. And we, we can look over here using an n equals 4. But remember, the more n values you have, the, the more rectangles you squeeze in into that interval, the more accurate you are to perhaps the true area below the curve. But we'll use n equals 4, and delta x is b minus a divided by n, 2 divided by 4, and you know that's 1 over 2. So if you're doing this intervals over here, and then you have your midpoint values here, and then you're running everything here through this function, your function is this 1 plus x cubed. Your interval is going to be 0 to 0.5, and then 0.5 to 1, and then 1 to 1.5, and then 1.5 to 2, and then you know here you're putting the middle of each. Middle of this is a 0.25, here you have a 0.75, here you have a 1.25, and then 1.75. What you have to do is feed these values, your these midpoint values into that formula. I'll post the values here for you and then we'll go from there. So I've determined these values. I took each of these values and I put them right here in place of x and I solved that. And I got the numbers over here, 1.007, 1.1924, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7184, 2.5217, 1.7